it's Wicked Bunnies, and today is the start of my whole new makeover transformation of my room. So this is something I've been wanting to do for a really long time, um, 19 years specifically, <laughs> but I've really, really been wanting to customize my room as of lately and pretty much my whole life, but I feel like I've never had like the option to really fully customize it because either we moved or I shared the room with my sister and we have very opposing tastes to what we think is a cute room since my sister Caddy is more into like grunge type of things and I'm into very quiet stuff with some like little bit of edginess as in like goth or emo or whatever because I have some pierce the veil stuff and slip knot stuff I don't know if you can see that but it's like very sprinkled in but so today starts the first day of my room redecorating journey and you guys are gonna come on it so let me show you what my full room looks like now welcome guys to my MTV crib okay so this is my room and as you can see, it's kind of just like decorated over here and then it just goes into nothingness. <laughs> and this is why I have this as the backdrop of all my videos because this is like the most decorated, interesting part of my room currently. And I have like all my bags over here on the wall. Super cute. Some earmuffs too. And then I have my posters, like literally <laughs> all my posters just in like one place. And then I have a little like storage bin right here that has hats. I got my slippers. And then I have this little like drawer here just for my secrets. So you're not allowed to know. Except I'm just kidding. You're gonna know when I have like a full like reveal. But um, I have a book here. I got some pens in case I feel like being creative in writing or drawing. And then I also have this little like trash can that has candy inside. Just in case anybody needs a fix or if I need to fix at like two in the morning. <laughs> and over here is my bed. And so I have my most beloved stuffed animals on it. Super cute. You probably saw all these little guys and my February favorites if you have not watched that video. Check it out now. Or I'll eat your kidneys or something, I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is my bed. It's very cute. I got this um, bed sheet recently and I really like it because it's very soft and it's also gold little stars all over it so it's very magical and i think it's wonderful for sleeping too but yeah and then over here i have um my fat ass dog <laughs> not kidding i'm just kidding i love you this is sapphire say hi to we like to is her nickname by the way um but yeah this is her and then over here is also like sort of the only other cute corner in my room i have my makeup stuff and my mirror right here also, I say hi, <laughs> and then I kind of have like a tissue box, just some random ponies, um, this little Kurumi figure, and then also this Monster High in box thingy, and then I have a CD player, and then um, this is my whole like bookshelf, so I have a lot of different things on it. I have kind of like just my K-pop CDs on the top, and just some random little cute guys that I've had since forever, books. CDs, some figures, plush, Twilight, <laughs> all the essentials. And then down here is kind of like my sugar bunnies, um, just favorite plush shrine. So this is like all my favorite little guys besides the little dudes who are on my bed, of course. And then over here in the corner, um, I have just like some monster highs and ever after high dolls that I just don't have a place to put them right now, but I want to put them like up. So I'm thinking of getting some shelves so I can show all these guys off because they're my babies. I've had them like since forever. Because I've been into Monster High and Ever After High since like they came out. So then over here, I just have a keyboard because I'm really into music and I finally got a keyboard. So I'm learning how to make some music. Yay! So I got this and I need to unbox it and test it out. And then over here is some kind of ugly shit. Um, I have a little sound box so I can put my stuff into my computer on my DAWs and whatever. I have my earphones. Up here is a mic so I can do my epic SoundCloud <laughs> rapping. No, I'm just kidding. That's not my style. I'm more of like a Melanie Martinez Grimes type of girly mixed with like Lana Del Rey and Fiona Apple. And then up here, I have some stuffed animals that are cute. A lot of them are, actually all of them are pretty much from my childhood, but 
There's a few up there that I got like recently. And then I have some clothes on the floor and some extra posters that I'm gonna put up, which I'm sorry, my room is a little messy, but this is my drawers over here. I have some clothes in them, belts over here and some t-shirts over here. Then I got my socks and then I have some more clothes and then some random phone cases that I have. And then up here, this is a prized possession my mother made me. Um, she got this little like guy from a market. So it's like a flea market, this little guy. And her name is Peewee Princess. I've had her since I was like seven years old. And then my mom made this little like cradle and the blanket. So shout out to you, mom. Love you. Thank you for this. <laughs> it's my prized possession. Um, I have a pony house that I've had since I was like literally a toddler. Then I have some cute little guys over here. Then there's me. Hello. Today's outfit is kind of like a ballerina chic sort of outfit because I had to go to a soccer game um, for my little brother today. So I needed something that was sort of like cute but comfortable. But yeah. Um, and then over here, have some like random perfumes, a jewelry box, my MacBook. Oh. And then in this corner, I have some stuff that I need to get rid of. So I'm thinking of giving these socks to one of my friends. And then this is stuff that I need to ship out. And then, I don't know, I might give this back to my sister. And then I have a mirror behind my door so I can take some outfit pictures. Outfit of the day. Ooh. Oh, let's see. <laughs> oh, I just learned that really aggressively. Whoa. Okay. Um, but this is the outfit of the day. So very ballet core like i said and yeah it's pretty much all of it except for my closet this holds so many dark secrets and uh, so many like money bad money making decisions because <laughs> i've spent so much money on clothes um anyway but here's some of my shoes skirts some blouses and just things i feel like need to be hanged up um or hung up sorry my mother's probably like screaming like say hang up hung up <laughs> sorry mother again i apologize um i have some lolita dresses over here i have some sefukus and some more stuff and i have like just some vests and whatever and then over here i have some accessories this is my accessory wall i got some pants up here and then up here is just like some paper tiara and then like a little terry cloth um beach thing up there so yeah it's quite random but i feel like my closet looks actually pretty neat okay and then in these drawers just kind of like some extra overflow slash like accessories and underwear and stuff like that so yeah that is my entire closet so the first thing that i purchased to help spruce up my room and just redecorate it is some stuff that i got on aliexpress and i will show you all of that on my computer right now so i have aliexpress opened and i'll go over everything that i got so the first thing that i got is this little my melody mat and I thought it was so freaking cute and it would just add something like a little pop of color and interest to my room, particularly the floor, cause it's this ugly, ugh, disgusting beige color. And we can't change it cause we're renting an apartment. So yeah, can't replace this ugly ass carpet. But anyway, so I was thinking I would put this right in front of my little shrine over there cause I measured and it would actually fit perfectly so that's where i plan to put this little guy and the next thing that i bought were these little cute um hello kitty curtain straps i think that's what you call them and they're super cute they have little polka dots and some lace on them and i thought it'd be nice because i actually kind of need them because look at my curtains that's literally just tied up into a ball oh my god so i thought this is just like a cute little way to be functional but also just have like another cute like Hello Kitty thing in my room because I'm kind of obsessed with her and my Melody because they're usually pretty pink and I love pink. It's my favorite color besides black and also sparkly glittery stuff. So yeah, remember that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's pretty useful and I'm really excited to receive these because I really think I will use it a lot. Well, it's gonna be on my curtains, so yeah definitely will be used a lot. I also got these cute little um, pink bow shelves. This is what it looks like. And I was thinking I could just put some little like figures or put some books on them and maybe put them in like this corner over here. Yeah, I'm thinking probably this corner right here just to have like another 
way to show off my little trinkets and all that good stuff. Cause I mean, look at them, they're so cute. They're freaking pulled up by hearts and it has a bow underneath. Stop, that's adorable. But so I got them in this pink color right here cause I thought it would match the whole room vibe. But yeah, I'm really excited to get them. Um, I really think they'll work very well. And so the next stuff I got were kind of like more organization type of things. And so the first thing I got was more of this like, I think it's more of like a pen organizer, but I'm thinking of actually using this to organize my makeup brushes, which are not in view right now, but they're literally like on the floor in this corner right here. <laughs> so they're not really in um, a good place right now. And it's kind of annoying to have to like shove them in there and it's just messy, you know? So I want to organize my room and keep it tidy. And I was thinking I could use this as a way to store my brushes in a cute way and then keep it on that little table right there. So yeah, I'm excited to get this so that my makeup brushes can actually be easily accessed and um, not messy looking. And then the other thing that I wanted to show was this little like tray shelf thingy. It's like a little mini shelf and it has my melody all over it and these little hearts. And oh my God, I'm so excited to receive this. Oh my God. Um, I'm thinking of what I want to put on this. Honestly, I'm thinking of something like this. So figures, maybe some perfumes, even though um, I feel like I don't really have that many perfumes. Maybe I'll buy perfumes just for the aesthetic of it. My mom's probably screaming, no, don't buy any more things. I'm sorry, mommy. I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> but I'm thinking of like, mostly putting like little like figures and trinkets like that. And then maybe some sort of like aesthetic makeup that I have could also look cute on it. So yeah, that's my plans for this guy. I have some more organization type things and I got these little storage box. And so I'm thinking I can put like what's remaining of my makeup in these boxes right here. And yeah, I'm thinking of really just using it to put like makeup. Cause see, little product picture has people putting makeup in it. And you can put like little clips and stuff. So maybe I could put that in it. Um, but yeah, just some more like cute or like, oh my God, blah, 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 blah. so <laughs> some more cute organization stuff because my room desperately needs it for all the little guys that I have. So I think this will be really good for my makeup and all of that. I also got this really cute little Hello Kitty light switch accessory thing. And so I'm thinking of putting it like right over here. And the final thing I purchased is probably like the least exciting thing that I got, honestly. But I got these little like pink heart hooks and I was thinking I could put either like bags or even like some clothing accessories on them cause they're cute and it can just add some little extra storage organization type stuff to my room. So over here on the floor is some posters that I actually already have and it's mostly just K-pop and then just like one single Melanie Martinez poster that I've had since forever. And I'm thinking of putting some of this stuff up but I'm also planning on buying some other posters and just printing out some like extra pictures to have like on the wall just to kind of make it look more like collage looking, sort of like how I have it now because I really want the space to be like all filled up and everything. So yeah, that's kind of like my plan for this wall is to just have some like more posters put onto it. I'm also thinking of putting like a canopy over my bed. That's always kind of been like a dream thing of mine because it's like makes me feel like a princess and I don't think I've ever had a canopy too. So I'm honestly considering putting one over my bed because it would fulfill a lot of childhood dreams inside of me. Hey, TV. <laughs> so I was literally about to go and take off my makeup and get my teeth brushed and get myself ready to bed when I remembered, just remembered, that I have not shown you guys the prints that I'm getting, like, for posters. So let me go and show you guys that right now. I found this Madoka Magica artwork on Pinterest, so I decided this would be really cute as a poster for my room. And then I also got this Kamikaze Girls um, film poster because I really like this movie. It's really funny and you should check it out if you've never seen it. I also got Coraline because, uh, duh, it's the best movie ever. Death Note because also, like, awesome show. Chobits, uh, particularly just Chi because she's adorable and she's just so cute. I love her. Twilight because, um, yes, there's no explanation for that. This is Resident Evil 4 poster. I just love the Resident Evil franchise as a whole, and I just thought this was cool, so I got this. This Kaon poster, because I thought it was really cute, and then this Patrick Bateman poster, because yes, he's, um, I love him, I love him. 
And so you may be wondering how the hell I was able to print out all of these posters because it's not like there's like official posters for some of these things. And basically I use this website called Free Prints or it's more of an app because they don't really have like an online website, but you can download it on iPhone and I think also Android. And you're able to print like pictures up to, I think, 16 by 20 so it's like a big poster size i'll show you um i have a sugar bunnies poster actually on my wall that i got from them too it's this one right here and i think the quality of it is pretty nice the picture got a little pixelated i can show you up close it's a little pixelated when you come up close to it but i mean it was blowing up like a really small image into like a huge poster like this so i kind of figured already it was going to be pixelated but honestly it does not look bad especially if you're like not that close to it it's only if you go like this you're like oh, okay it's a little blurry but yeah so they kind of can print like poster size um images so that's how i use it to get custom made posters for my room. Hello, okay, so I think it's been about a week or two since I ordered those posters. And so they've arrived and also my AliExpress stuff, it's here. So I'm gonna go and unbox everything now and see what everything looks like. All my posters and this roll right here. Let's see what they look like. Okay, so I have everything unwrapped. And as you can see, I also have just like random objects for my room just placed on top of them so that they don't like spring back into a cylinder shape since they were wrapped up so tightly. And I have to say the quality of these posters, like it always amazes me how nicely done they are. And they're not even that expensive. Like I paid about a hundred for all of these and I have, let me see. Three, six, nine, ten posters. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I have 10 posters and it was like 10 bucks i think for each of them so yeah it was about 100 bucks which i don't think is a bad price to be honest because i got a lot of posters but yeah the quality of the paper is nice as always and for these posters i tried to pick out like the highest resolution like image that i could find for each one but there were some that were like just really small in comparison like i'll just show you the two that came out a little pixelated this Madoka one right here, which I'm not sure if you're going to even see on camera because it's not that bad. And then this Kaon one right here also got a little pixelated, but I already knew that these two would probably be a little pixelated when you came up close to them because they were the smallest resolution ones that I could remember uh, that I got. But like the rest of these, I tried to get like as big as I could. And look how nicely this twilight one came out this genuinely looks like a poster that you could find like in stores it's so nice and even the american psycho one very very nice like not pixelated at all because the resolutions that i chose were a lot bigger because they are like movie posters so you can find more um resolutions or wait you can find more pictures that are nicer like quality and higher resolutions than you can with the more like anime type stuff here because it's not as popular as say like these big like western movies you know but yeah i'm honestly so happy with how everything turned out they're really just like how i imagined them to look like so i'm gonna go and unbox everything else let's get to some more unboxing shall we look what's here i'm so excited to use this to organize my makeup stuff because it really needs some organizing it's so cute though oh my god this is gonna look so cute uh so this package is already halfway open i'm hoping nothing is damaged but if so alex versus good with like giving you money back if anything is damaged so let's just pray and hope that nothing is damaged because i will cry okay so in the purple packaging was the my melody rug and look how freaking cute it is this part kind of used to be flattened out because it's been probably bent for quite a while but this looks so nice and feels so soft this is gonna look perfect over there holy crap i'm so excited also i was so excited about the rug that i did not realize they gave me freaking sparkly my melody stickers what they gave me a freaking freebie oh my god i literally would have thrown away the package I, I, I was so excited about the rug like i just tossed it to the side and i did not realize they gave me authentic sanrio I'm done, my soul is leaving my body. Goodbye, guys. This sounds interesting. Ooh, okay, so these are the heart hooks that I got, and they seem pretty nicely made, considering how cheap they were. Um, 
yeah no the quality seems pretty nice i am surprised i'm just hoping that they can stick well to the wall because i'm not sure entirely like how well they're gonna stick i got the little curtain holders let me go and take these out of the plastic so i can fully see what they look like i had to turn on the light in my room because it's starting to get dark outside but these are genuinely pretty nicely made i mean like the lace that they chose and everything it's sewn on pretty well look at the back i'm honestly pleasantly surprised with these these look very nice and here's the next thing it's a little light switch decoration this is gonna look really cute over there okay so i just opened it a little bit and this has been broken into this i'm praying nothing is damaged but then again if it is damaged i'll just go and dispute it on aliexpress but i hope it's not because i would really hate that well here's the little organizer that i'm going to use for my makeup brushes this seems like it's not broken but let's just double check and unbox this to make sure okay thank god because it's all together doesn't seem to be any flaws in this this was like well secured but look at what i just found out it freaking spins i did not know this so look Whee! and this is pretty stable considering this is on my bed so this is amazing i love this guys this packaging looks really fucked up i'm hoping it's not damaged i'm scared okay so thankfully it is not completely damaged but there is slight damage to it like this right here is slightly bent a bit i'm not sure if i can fix that and then there's also a bit of like paint or something that got onto this i'm not entirely sure but i might be able to dispute some of my money back for it and Overall, it's not that badly damaged, but it is a little disappointing. Okay, and so the last thing that arrived were these two pink bow shells. And thankfully, they look like they're in good condition and all. I'm still not sure how I'm going to hang these up because this is what the back looks like. They gave me these little thingies, so I guess these guys? I'm not sure, but I'll figure it out. Oh, Lord have mercy. This is a mess. My entire room just has shit on the floor. Like, oh my god. I'm gonna throw away that stuff and then I'm gonna move my posters to the other side and then they can like be flattened over there. So three, two, one, ta-da, all clean. And so basically I put all my posters over here and laid some books on top of them so that they can hopefully straighten out within like a day or two. And then it'll make it a lot easier to put them like on my wall and stuff. So yeah. Oh, I'm so impatient though. I want them up like right now, but it will make it a lot easier. But so while I'm waiting for these guys to straighten out, I'll go and move these guys around my room and just adjust them so that they look good. First things first, let's get this carpet. Sorry, Tui. <laughs> it fits in so perfectly. Yay, I'm so glad. Next thing I want to do is go and organize my makeup with these two guys. So here's a little before and a beautiful after. This is a lot nicer looking than just having them all in this bag right here. Now let's see how this guy does with all of this. So unfortunately, these two palettes were slightly too big for the drawers, but I got literally everything else in here. So I have my highlighter and then just another longer eyeshadow palette, more eyeshadow and then lashes. So I have to say, this is gonna look a lot cuter than just having this in the side of my bed, like right there in that corner. So this is what it currently looks like. Oh, by the way, hi. <laughs> um, it's a little crowded, but honestly it looks a lot better than just having all my makeup like shoved down there. So I think this is definitely a right step in the direction and I might just like change things out anyway and move them in different places, but we'll have to see over time. It's the next day because I had to eat dinner, but I got this little light switch done and then I also got little hello kitty plushies on my curtain and i have some figures over here my room looks like a freaking mess right now holy shit i basically just filmed a haul for all these stuffed animals that i got so that will be up on my youtube uh so to try and justify why i bought a bazillion plushies i'm going to be using these guys obviously as just like extra room decor just to try to like fill up my room just a little bit more make it look a bit fuller um yeah that's the excuse i'm gonna be using <laughs> but yeah i think these guys go very well with my room theme guys today i'm stepping out of my comfort zone and trying to see if i can get shelves on my wall i am not really a handy person at all but we'll see how it goes maybe i might need my mom who knows but i'm gonna try and do this by myself because i'm gonna need to install shelves by myself at some point <laughs> 
This instruction manual is literally setting me already into fight or flight mode and it's literally just telling me the tools I need. Like I'm, I'm freaking out. I guess I need to go and see if we have any of this in our family toolbox. So I'll be right back. Okay, I think I found everything I needed. I basically took every screwdriver we have just in case um, <laughs> I need one of them. The only thing though I, we don't have from what I could see in my house was a damn uh, drill. I thought we had one, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. Maybe I'm just not looking in the right place because my mom's not home, so she can't really tell me, but I don't know. Uh, maybe I don't need a drill or this could go horribly wrong. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> What's going on here, little girl? I'm trying to get a screw. <laughs> or whatever the hell this thingy is. I don't know about the construction. Oh, oh I'm getting it in the wall. I don't know anything about construction. <laughs> or handy work, or whatever the hell this is called. <laughs> Hooray! I got it! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Guys, look! The first official shelf I've ever put up in my life. Isn't this the most beautiful, gorgeous, shapely thing you've ever seen? It's definitely gonna be used to put up these babies. Yep. Now time for shelf two. Okay, so after what seemed to feel like hours of my life, of screwing, rescrewing, spackling, I have finally installed shelves. Also over here, I installed two super cute bow shelves that I got from AliExpress. And so they have my Super Sonico figures on it and then just like two other random stuff, you know? But yeah, I did all the um, installing of shelves kind of off camera just cause it was really, it was a very difficult process, but at the same time it wasn't, but you know, it was just hard to film cause you're trying to get like exact measurements and shit like that. But yeah, they're up here and I'm so happy with how my shelves turned out. They came out super cute. Ooh, I wonder what is inside this huge, gigantic, enormous box. Let's find out, shall we? I don't think you guys are ready for what I'm about to show you. Okay, let me show you. Three, two, one. <laughs> Look at how cute it is. I, it's a lot bigger than I thought, to be honest. Um, I thought I measured correctly, but <laughs> it's so cute. It's like a little sofa that's meant for toddlers technically but oh my god it's so freaking cute like a pink couch that has strawberry cushions this was a need so i found this actually on walmart.com so if you guys want to get the same couch then you can get it there it's pretty cheap compared to all the other prices i've seen for it so yeah i'm super excited um basically i'm gonna put some of my plushies on here i kind of want to just have it as like a big statement piece i don't know if i'm wording that correctly but i want to just put all of like my plushies like on here and i think it would just be super cute to have them all chill in here on this little couch because look at how adorable this is oh my god okay so i moved all the plushies from my bookshelf onto the couch here and this is basically what this side looks like now so i added all my dollies, ponies, plushies, and then I even have plushies on the wall here. So I have one, two, three bunnies. And then let me show you what I did with this side. So this is what the bookshelf looks like now. I have a figure here, sugar bunnies, webkins, um, lape, usa, whatever the hell these bunnies are called, I don't remember. Um, webkins, and then comic books and manga. And then over here, I put my other two little bunny bags just cause we need more plushies over here. It's a little hard with all the figurines. I'm trying to figure out what I should do next. I think I'm gonna go and do the canopy that I ordered. Cause yes, I did get one. Yay, the princess dreams are coming true. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think that's probably the best thing to do next because otherwise I'm not sure cause I would also need to change curtains, posters, and then just move around some of my bags again. So yeah, I think canopy makes like the most sense now. Actually, never mind. I think I want to take down the posters first, then canopy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that because I don't know how big the canopy is gonna fit over my bed because I don't think I measured. So 
hopefully it fits well but yeah i'm gonna go and take down the posters now well my wall has been de -yossified. But now I can put up the canopy, I hope. Let's pray. This is not that hard to put up. This is freaking huge, but this is adorable, holy shit. I don't know if you can see from over there the stars, but my dream, my childhood. Like, I've been eating this ever since I was like two. <laughs> and it's finally coming true. <gasps> I'm just trying to process in my head that I literally have a canopy now. Like, oh my god, dude. You have no idea how long this has been a dream of mine. Seriously, like I've always wanted one of these as like a kid, but I never had one. And now I have one. <laughs> Holy crap, this is amazing. I'm so happy. So they included these little lights to put on the canopy itself, but I'm not really sure how to do that. Also, I don't really have that many plugs over there because I already have fairy lights uh, like in the corner of this room. So I'm thinking I could use these lights and put them over on my little stuffed animal basket that I have just hanging up there um, because I do have an actual outlet here. So yeah, I want to see if this can work. <laughs> well Will, where are you, baby? Talk to me, Will. Sorry, folks, I can't get this on camera. It's like, even at the highest level that my tripod can go, it still is cut out. So I apologize for that, but I cannot show this. I just got done with it and holy shit, I'm literally so sweaty. I'm like sweatier than doing a 30 minute workout. This is insane. Um, This is room decor? This is not a joke, I guess. <laughs> it's a workout in itself. Yo, but this is what it looks like. It's pretty cute, I think. So yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. I'm thinking now I put up the curtains and then afterwards I'm gonna do the posters. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Look, isn't that beautiful? Of course, I was sweating like a pig while doing this. I think in part I'm sweating so bad because it's been like raining all day. So um, that's probably why, but look at this beauty. Oh my God, I'm, this is, yes. I'm gonna go and hang up some bags now because I need to go and do this. And then after that, poster time. Yeah, I think it was a good touch to put the bags over here. I like it, I like it. And then over here, we got the sugar bunnies bag. So I think this looks good. Okay, so now I'm on the floor with my posters and I'm trying to visualize where I wanna put like each poster on my wall cause I'm still not really sure where I wanna put everything, honestly. Cause I do have quite a lot here thinking maybe this Miku poster that I have, I might put on like the other side of my room just cause like, it's cute, but it's not my favorite poster. It's not like I have to see it like in every picture I take, you know? Like, does it make any sense? Cause I kind of, I'm basing things off of where I wanna do also like my TikToks and also backgrounds for my videos. So yeah, I kind of need it to be like to my standard of cutiness, but and the Miku poster is also really big, so yeah, I think it probably makes sense if I put it like over here somewhere. But yeah, I'm just gonna try and focus really hard to um, figure out where I'm gonna put these posters because at the moment I'm still kind of like, uh. Good morning, everyone. If I look tired as fuck, it's because I just woke up, but basically I had to stop doing the posters last night because my phone died. So yeah, I'm going to do it this morning instead because I was like, you know what? I'll just let my phone freaking recharge and I'll do it early in the morning. But yeah, I'm gonna go and put the posters up right now.
Okay, so the wall behind me is done. Now I'm gonna go and do the other side of my room and then if I have any extra posters, I guess just put it over here in front of me. But yeah, I'm gonna go and do that. If my angle looks slightly different, that's because my phone ran out of storage, so I had to transfer all my videos on here to my MacBook so that I could continue filming. But yeah, let's continue on with this. Okay guys, this wall is completed too. Now I'm just wondering what my Hatsune Miku poster would look like down here, like in this corner over here i'm just gonna see what it looks like i might put it there i might not i just need to know what it looks like first yeah look look how cute it looks yeah, i really like this very very cute i just realized i have this one nct poster left i think i'm gonna put it like right over here where the slippers are and then maybe readjust these smaller little like posters over here so it looks more even so that the whole wall really is full now so after I changed out of my workout clothes and cleaned up my room, my room is finally complete. So now it's time to show you the big reveal. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I surely did. It was very fun remaking my room and finally getting the room that I've desired for so, so, so long. I'm planning on making another separate video of a more detailed room tour, so stay tuned to that if that interests you. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you're still watching, um, thank you so much because I know this is going to be a long ass video. So let me give you a heart heart and heart to you and i'll see you in my next video ta-ta